Hello and welcome to another Monster Hunter World video. This is Expired Virus and here I'll talk about a quick breakdown of Monster Hunter's very last major update, The Last Stand Developed Diary. So without further ado, let's dive into it. So this is the fit free title update for Monster Hunter World and sadly this is going to be the last one which means we are not going to see any more new monsters or location after this update. However Capcom did say that they will still keep updating the game with the various events and possibly some arc tempered monsters. Now moving on to the developed diary really quick. First they have showed us a trailer of a returning monster from the original Monster Hunter world Fatalis. As long before, hunters could only encounter this monster roaming in online mode, but in Icebond this will be in a controlled environment, so the fight will be a lot more different and a more tougher. We'll be able to demolish this monster on the 1st of October 2020, and this fight will take place in a castle shred. But definitely this area will be updated with cannons, ballistics and explosives all over the place. There will be a new storyline and with that a new character moved from the guild called General. The excitable A-lister will play a vital role as well in this short storyline. As always when there is a new monster there will be some new armors and weapons to put our hands on. As though the armor and weapon looks a bit generic, there will be some exciting set bonuses on the armor. That hasn't been confirmed yet, but it's still yet to see. And of course there is a new set of Palico armor to play around with. Then the developed team moved on to some system update. Their first and main one is Clutch Club Boost. Uh, with the boost you can tenderize the monster easily with just one hit with either heavy weapon or light weapon as well with the heavy weapon clutch claw attack you will be able to drop some slinger ammo though you wouldn't be able to drop it now. Then the team discussed about high rank layered armor. Yes, as we can equip all the low rank uh, armors as layered armor we will be able to use all the high rank armors as layered armor as well but we might need some of the materials from uh, to craft these armors from the event quest and this will be available on a later date. Then they moved on to uh, some melding items in Elder Melter, mainly some rare jewels. So from there you'll be able to melt some new items in the Elder Melter from now on. There will be new upgrades to charms where you can upgrade all your old charms even further and this will be available in a patch update 15.01. Then the team went on to some upcoming add-on contents. Uh, there are some brand new pendants and room decoration. All these contents you will be able to get from the microtransactions. But this stuff is totally ornaments and does not affect any gameplay or whatsoever. So you will be able to buy this by microtransactions. With all the events coming there will be a little Halloween event, uh, it's called Fun Fright Fest and this event is expected to be with us on the 16th of October 2020. With this event the gathering hub will be decorated in some super spooky decoration, kind of haunted house theme. There will be a new item and costumes for most NPCs, new costume for your handler, palico and poogie and of course there will be some new daily limited bounties and will have access to all event quests and probably some new ones. Then moving on to the fast rush event that is currently ongoing where you can have your hands on all the past seasonal events in case you missed anything and this is to celebrate the one year of Monster Hunter World Iceborne and on top of that there are some exciting new event quests lined up in Celiana Supply Cache, where Velcana attacked first in Icebond storyline. There will be a new monster every week for 3 weeks as you all remember this arena is different so 
you'll be able to use some different playstyle in this arena. That brings me to the end of the video. Altogether, Capcom has done a fantastic job supporting this game throughout the year and even there won't be any major update. Capcom will continue the support to the game with the new event quest and stuff. If you like the video, if you want to show some support to the video, please like and comment. And if you really like to support the channel, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and take care of yourself. See you on the next video.